this room is packed. They have like almost close to 2,000 people tonight, which is a record by 1,000. Uh, you know, it's not a record by like three people more, because people want to hear it. They're tired of politicians, other than the politicians, of course, in this room. But they're tired of... <laughs> I have to add that just to be nice. I mean, I am their guest. I have to add that. Right? That's right, yes, sir. But they're tired of it. They're tired of all talk, no action, bad deals with China, bad deals with Mexico, bad deals with Japan, horrible deals with Saudi Arabia. You know, Saudi Arabia makes a billion dollars a day, and they give us nothing, and we protect them. Last night you said, you know, this place is a hell of a you know, like oh, the country's, the country's in such trouble. Well, you look at the country. You look at Baltimore. You look at places that are just burning up. I mean, what do you call that? Do you say it's wonderful? How can you say it's anything? I mean, do you think that's good? The country has got tremendous problems. We need jobs. We need manufacturing. They've all been taken out. They've been taken by other countries, China and other countries. China has been a tremendous abuser. But everybody abuses the United States because we have horrible negotiators, we have people that are not smart, and the world is abusing the United States. So I'm going to make a decision very soon. I think people are going to be extremely surprised. I believe in my mind that decision's already made. It's going to be made in sometime mid-June, and I think we've gotten, and you've seen it, I mean, we've gotten tremendous response. You see it tonight. They break their record by over a thousand people. What do you think of the Trans-Pacific Partnership? You think we should sign I think it stinks. I think it's terrible because they don't cover currency manipulation. And if you look at China, if you look at Japan, they beat us on currency manipulation. And we don't even talk about it. Plus, we should have not a Trans-Pacific, we should have an individual country agreement. Not many countries. We should have individual country agreement. So that if a country is good to us, now a bad country gets taken into the good country and they benefit. It's a stupid agreement. It's made by the same people that gave you Sergeant Bergdahl. Okay, it's true. We get Bergdahl, they get five killers that are the best people they have. And all five of them are now back on the battlefield. And we got, what do we get? We got a traitor. So the same people that made the Bergdahl agreement, the same exact people, are the people that are doing Trans-Pacific and the, the Iran nuclear pact, which is a disaster. These are people that don't know what they're doing. We have incompetent leadership. Rand and Paul had a filibuster last night for ten and a half hours against the uh, Patriot Act, part of that uh, mass data. Yeah. Do you support what he was doing last night? I like him a lot. Yeah. He's a good guy. He's a friend of mine. A lot of the people are friends of mine. Okay, a lot of them. Yeah. But I will tell you that I side on the side of security. Okay? okay. If somebody has to listen to my phone call, my calls aren't that exciting unfortunately for me. Not that exciting. I side on, on the cause of security because the world is trying to destroy us right now. I don't want people listening to my calls. And, you know, when, and these people that are clapping and saying, say, I don't want people listening to my calls. But if it's a choice between that and these maniacs that are all over the world, I have to go on the side of security. I think somewhere maybe in between there's going to be a solution, frankly, because that would be the best. But if I had my choice, I have to go with security over somebody listening to my phone calls, what which would be extremely boring. What about immigration? How do you plan to tackle that? I, I didn't understand one word he just said. Immigration? <laughs> oh, immigration. How do you plan to tackle that? Well, immigration, you need a border, you need a wall, and nobody can build a wall like Trump, and you stop, have to stop the <laughs> <laughs> I build the greatest buildings in the world. I will build a great wall that people aren't getting over it, believe me, they don't come over my wall. <laughs> These walls, they go right through them. The walls they build, no, it's true, the walls they build, they go right through them. They don't even go over them, they just walk right through them. And Mexico will pay for the wall. Because Mexico has been taking advantage of this country more than almost anybody except China. And OPEC in the old days. But OPEC's being sort of like obliterated right now. Okay? Thank you. You gonna miss Clarman? I do. I, you know, I have his record. Did you know? What's my record? Twenty-one times. I was. I didn't realize. I said, "There's no way I was on." But they announced that I was on with a couple of people twenty-one times. So he's a great guy. I mean, I'm going to miss him. Yeah, he's tough. Yeah. That was always a tough interview. You never knew what he was doing. Quirky, huh? He's quirky. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So, I'm going to make a decision. People are going to be extremely surprised. It'll probably be in New York, it'll be during the month of June, and 
I will say this. If I run, and if I win, and it will not be for lack of trying, that I can tell you, but if I run, and if I win, our country will be great again. Yeah.